Get ready to learn even more about this crazy world that we live in because here are 50 amazing facts to blow your mind. In 1905, 11-year-old Frank Epperson from the San Francisco Bay Area invented the popsicle by accident. He left his sugary soda powder that he mixed with water outside overnight, and the next morning it was frozen. He originally named it the Epsicle, but the name was eventually changed to Popsicle, which I think sounds a lot better. There's a phobia called allodoxophobia that's actually the fear of people's opinions. People with this live in constant fear and anxiety of hearing other people's opinions of them. A group of flamingos is called called a flamboyance of flamingos. You can also call them a stand, a colony, or a regiment, but let's be honest, none of those are nearly as fabulous. Jean-Claude Van Damme was the person behind the original scenes shot for the movie Predator. However, he hated the suit that he had to wear and was instead replaced by actor Kevin Peter Hall. In 1922, Charles Osborne got a case of the hiccups that lasted until 1990. He was hiccuping 40 times a minute for 68 years. And possibly the weirdest thing is that when it stopped, it stopped for unknown reasons. There was a cathedral called the Luminary de Cagna on display at the 2012 Light Festival in Belgium that was 92 feet high and lit by 55,000 LED lights. There's an oasis in the middle of the Gobi Desert called Crescent Lake. It's located 3.7 miles from the outskirts of the city of Dunhuang in western China and is believed to have been there for over 2,000 years. The New York Presbyterian Morgan Stanley Children's Hospital has a CT scan room that has been turned into a pirate-themed island. Children enter the room by walking on a plank and then lay on a boat-shaped table. There's such a thing as fainting goats. In fact, Tennessee holds a fainting goat festival. These goats are born with a condition called myotonia congenital, which causes their muscles to tense up for 10 to 20 seconds whenever they're spooked, which can cause them to easily faint. Barbie's full name is Barbara Millicent Roberts. Her creator, Ruth Hanson, Handler invented her back in 1959 and named her after her daughter Barbara. And if you're wondering, yes, Ken also has a full name too. It's Ken Carson. There are giant pink slugs found only in the subalpine reaches of Mount Kaputar, Australia. They can reach up to eight inches long and on a good day, you can see hundreds of them. Petaluma, California has been holding a world's ugliest dog contest since the 1970s. It's extremely competitive and the world's ugliest title is a fiercely coveted one. Web designer Jill Hubley, who's based in Brooklyn, New York, created a detailed map identifying every single tree in New York City. She created it by using the last tree census data back in 2005. Somebody needs a hobby. On D-Day, at least 500 canvas dummies were dropped away from the Normandy beaches to distract from actual drop zones. The dummies, called Ruperts, were just under three feet tall, came with battle sounds, and were made to self-destruct upon landing so that the Germans couldn't find them. During World War II, because a lot of players were called to duty, the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Philadelphia Eagles were combined to make one team, the Steagles. During the building of the Hoover Dam, 96 people died from industrial fatalities such as drowning, blasting, falling rocks or rock slides, falls from the canyon wall and truck accidents, etc. Slovakia and Slovenia are so often confused that the staff of Slovak and Slovenia Slovenian embassies have to meet once a month to exchange wrongly addressed mail. The mortar used in the construction of the Great Pyramids of Giza is of unknown origin. It's been analyzed and while the chemical composition is known, it cannot be reproduced and is stronger than stone. This is why it's still holding up today and was built sometime between 2540 and 2560 BC. The advertising character that you and I know as the Michelin Man has been used by the tire company often on for 116 years. But the coolest thing is that he has an actual name. It's Bibendum. According to a study done in 2013 by Dr. Peter Jonathan from the University of Western Sydney School of Sciences and Psychology, people who wake up late at night are more likely to display antisocial personality traits such as Machiavellianism, narcissism, and have psychopathic tendencies. The first ever product to be sold by scanning a barcode was a 10-pack of Juicy Fruit Gum. The transaction took place at 8.01 a.m. on June 26, 1974 at a Marsh supermarket in Troy, Ohio. Napoleon Bonaparte wore his black felted beaver fur hat sideways instead of with the points at the front and back so that he could be easily spotted on the battlefield. Almost one 
billion birds die each year in the United States due to collisions with glass. Although most people have seen or heard a bird hit a window, they often believe that it's an unusual event, but statistically it's not. In China, there's a delicacy called virgin boy eggs. These eggs are actually soaked in the urine of boys under the age of 10, and they collect the urine from school washrooms. It's believed that eating this can have health benefits. You can buy one for about 24 cents. No thanks. In South Korea, you can have a plastic surgery called Smile Lipped, where they raise both corners of your mouth and give you a permanent smile. Isn't that what the Joker did? In China, you can buy baby Buddha-shaped pears. The farmers clamp a mold onto a growing fruit to get the shape. In addition to baby pears, a company called Fruit Mold manufactures heart-shaped cucumbers, square watermelons, and other more deliciously odd shapes. At the Austrian brewer Starkenberger's Castle, you can actually swim in Beer. They have seven 13 foot pools filled with 42,000 pints of warm beer and some water where you can sit and relax completely immersed. The beer is rich in vitamins and calcium and it's thought that sitting in it is good for the skin and can help cure open wounds and pariasis. It can actually be considered rude to tip in Japan. If you do decide to tip something, the proper etiquette is to place the money in a tasteful decorative envelope, seal it, and then hand it to the recipient with a slight bow. The Philippines is the only country in the world that denies divorce to the majority of its citizens. They can file for legal separation, which will allow them to separate their possessions and live apart, but does not legally end the marital union and thus does not permit remarriage. German sneaker company Nat2 has created the first vegan wooden sneaker. They're made of up to 90% real sustainable wood, which is applied to an organic cotton and vector engraved in a way that the material bends and becomes soft and flexible like fine leather. On May 20th, 2016, a man named Aaron Chervenak drove all the way from Los Angeles to a little Vegas chapel in Las Vegas to marry his love, his smartphone. In an attempt to get fit and lose weight, 54-year-old Kong Yan from Jilin, China walks daily with an 88-pound rock balanced on his head. Seven Cent Brewery, located in Australia, has created a beer using the yeast isolated from the belly button lint of its brewers. Huh? London, England has a clothing optional restaurant called Bunyadi. It costs up to $95 a person for food and drinks, and you can choose between clothed and naked and pure seating areas where you will be served by semi-nude staff. The Dutch apparel company Cover has created jackets and bags that feature technology that blocks every in and outgoing signal, making the wearer completely untraceable by modern tracking devices, such as computer chips embedded in credit cards, and can even take you off the cell phone grid. Product and graphic designer Ricky Ma constructed a life-sized robot that looks exactly like Scarlett Johansson. Creepy! It took him a year and a half and cost $50,000. He calls her Mark One, which I don't know why he wouldn't just call her Scarlett, and she responds to a set of programmed verbal commands spoken into a microphone. There's a Romanian woman who knitted a vest made out of her own hair. She gathered all of the hair that fell out when she combed it from from the age of 40 to 60 and eventually had enough hair to produce the article totaling 2.2 pounds. Also, ha. you can buy toothpaste infused with caffeine that gives you a boost in the morning. Unlike coffee, Power Energy toothpaste takes effect almost immediately, making you more alert before you're even finished brushing. Today's gonna be a great day. The oldest inhabited house in Scotland is Traquair Castle. Located less than 30 miles from Edinburgh, it has been lived in for over 900 years and was originally a hunting lodge for the kings and queens of Scotland. Glass is 100% recyclable and it can be recycled endlessly without loss in quality or purity. You can have brain surgery and not feel any pain because the brain itself does not have any pain receptors. Most Dalmatian puppies are born with solid white coats. The spots aren't visible until the puppies are about 10 days old. Bulls are actually colorblind. The matador's cape could be any color. It's the motion that attracts the bull's attention to charge, not the color red. It cost almost $25 million to build the Empire State Building. 
building. If you include the cost of land, it's closer to 41 million. Catfish have approximately 100,000 taste buds all over their bodies, most of them on their whiskers. Cranberries are called bounce berries by some people because they actually bounce when they're ripe. Europe is the only continent without at least one desert region. In order to qualify as a desert, an area must get less than 10 inches of rain per year. If you have an irrational fear of Friday the 13th, you have what's called Frigatriscade Caphobia. According to National Geographic, an elephant's trunk has 150,000 muscle units. Gloucestershire Airport in England used to blast Tina Turner music to scare off birds, and it worked better than blasting bird distress calls. And now you're just a little bit smarter. As always, thank you guys so much for coming by today. Remember to come back on Monday and every weekday at exactly 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because I'll have a brand new video for you. Enjoy the weekend and I'll see you then.